Have you talked to the president lately? I've not. Donald Trump's former campaign manager, Brad Parscale, is feeling hurt. Hurt that Donald Trump has not spoken to him. Now, I'm going to get to this clip in a second, but this ultimately is about the authoritarian mindset. And I'm going to get to some examples later or some, some questions later that you can use on yourself or friends and family to see if they have the authoritarian mindset. Now, obviously, you know, it's a theory. It's not an exact science, but it's incredibly interesting and it absolutely plays into Brad Parr's scale here. But first, before I get to the clip, just a little uh, reminder on the history leading up to this. So back in uh, July, the Trump campaign replaces campaign manager Brad Parscale in a major shakeup. Parscale under pressure after disappointing Tulsa rally, demoted to senior advisor as Trump lags in the polls. So if you can think back to July, I know a lot's happened since then, but back in July, there is that big or supposedly going to be big rally in Tulsa for Donald Trump, and not many people showed up. And it was after that that Brad Parscale was demoted. Eventually, he was hospitalized following a uh, reported suicide attempt. This was in uh, late September. And then ultimately, uh, a couple days later, he steps down from the Trump re-election campaign. Now, Fox News got an exclusive interview with him. And look at what he says to the question about, has he spoken with Trump lately? Feel like you're healthy now? I feel like I'm healthy. I'm getting better every day as a stress and, a, and this is the last piece of it. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to have history remember as it was accurate. And, uh, and I appreciate you didn't tell the American people that because I love my wife. She loves me. She was the first one there right afterwards. Uh, and she'll be the last one I ever see. Have you talked to the president lately? I've not. And it's pretty hurtful, but it's probably just as much my fault as his. Um, I love that family. And I gave every inch of my life to him. Every inch. What would you say to him? Keep fighting. Don't give up. Don't give up. The country needs you. All right. Now, look, I'm not going to defend Brad Parscale. Uh, he is not a good man. He supports a horrible person. But it is not his fault that Trump hasn't spoken to him. He says there probably as much my fault as his. This guy had a suicide attempt. He went through serious mental hardship. A normal boss would reach out to that employee and see how they're doing, see how their family's doing, see if they need anything. Donald Trump is a narcissist, so of course he's not going to. What it, what's amazing about this, though, is that Brad Parscale doesn't seem to care and is even putting blame on himself for Trump not reaching out to him. It's this inability to recognize the narcissist that is in front of him. Now, this is where we get into the authoritarian mindset. So this is research that was done back, uh, I mean, this was uh, research done by Theodore Adorno, who analyzed the rise of far-right authoritarianism in Germany. And this still applies to today. I'm going to read through this. It's only, you know, several bullet points here. But um, I want you to think about yourself or people in your, in your life that this may apply to. So they write here, according to Adorno's theory, the elements of the authoritarian personality type are blind allegiance to conventional beliefs about right and wrong, respect for submission to acknowledged authority, belief in aggression toward those who do not subscribe to conventional thinking or who are different, a negative view of people in general, i.e. the belief that people would all lie, cheat, or steal if given the opportunity. A need for strong leadership which displays uncompromising power. A belief in simple answers and polemics, i.e. the media controls us all or the source of all our problems is the loss of morals these days. Resistance to creative, dangerous ideas, a black and white worldview. A tendency to project one's own feelings of inadequacy, rage, and fear onto a scapegoated group, a preoccupation with violence and sex. This applies directly to the Trump base, including people in his circle who are unable to recognize how much of a horrible man uh, Donald Trump is. Brad Parscale clearly has the authoritarian personality type. 
blind allegiance to the the one supreme leader. This is something that look I find incredibly interesting, but I don't know what the solution is. I really don't. Um, it is incredible. It's it seems impossible to turn people like this around, to really inform them to to uh, not only you know understand how society should improve, but also just how to improve themselves, how to look at the world differently, how to be accepting of different views. But we're in a world now that is so divided, not even in terms of just, you know, views, but also in terms of where we get our information from, that it is almost impossible to tap into that, you know, Trump base or far right base or authoritarian personality types. It's, it's so hard to tap into that because they're in their own world, watching their own content, reading uh, views that, you know, just agree with them completely, never challenge them. So it's... It's sad. Ultimately, it's sad because if you want a world that is going to uh, that is going to improve, that that is going to progress, we have to be able to deal with these types of personalities.